Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here from Woodwork Web. Today we've got a cool little project. Today we've got we've secured a log and we're going to be making this lovely little natural edge lazy susan or some people call it a turntable. So stay tuned to see how we do this. So this is my cutoff piece of black locust and you can see that I've, I've fastened it down. It's really rigid on there because I want to take the chainsaw and cut a slice. It's the only thing that I've got that I can cut a slice off with. So I don't want it to move around. It's even secured on the edge here. So that's what I'm going to do now and we'll cut off a slice of this right here. And that's what it looks like. So what I'm going to do, this is pretty flat, the chainsaw actually did a pretty good job and I think I can with some really rough sandpaper, I think I can sand this down uh, and make it as as flat as I need to for this. So I'm going to do that. I have this really aggressive wheel uh, on my grinder here so I'm going to start off with that and do that on both sides and then I'm going to go to my sander, my random orbital sander, with some 60 grit. We finished our sanding and this is beautiful and smooth and it's not perfectly flat but it's as flat as we need it. it does, it's, there's a tiny bit of rock there but I'm not worried about that. I have a scrap piece of lumber that I'm going to use as the base and this is uh, an MDF material. I don't know where I got it from but it's a, some scrap. Now what we need to do of course is ultimately this will be fastened to that that will go on there like so but what we need here is I want a round base on this we could use square but I want to use round and it needs to be round enough to fit this and I found this bucket that the base is just a little bit too large but the top is perfect so I'm going to use that and make a circle then we'll go to the bandsaw and we'll cut that out and then we're going to line that with this heat sensitive uh, oak veneer uh, and we'll, so we'll line that and then we'll trim it down. Now when I make a circle around here I want to make sure that I'm not hitting any existing holes.
the bandsaw did a great job of making a circle, but there's still some places that are just a little bit bumpy. So I'm going to use my uh, oscillating belt sander and just take the edges off some of the bumps. There's our round that's nicely sanded now, so it's nice and smooth. And here's the veneer that we're going to be gluing on. And it's a heat sensitive glue, or a heat sensitive material. So I have a, an iron, just an, an ordinary iron heating up. So my iron's all heated up. And what I need to do now is just roll this along carefully on top and let the glue go along and melt itself to our MDF. I just wanted to give you a quick sample of why I'm using an ebony die. So when we put that down and the turntable will be fastened to that, will be screwed to that, and then the top will come on like this. And if you look closely, and even from your angle, you can see the bottom of that when we spin that around. But watch after we've given this a die job and made this ebony and we'll do a quick sample to show you the difference that it makes and how when you use black like this that it can make some things disappear. Now watch this when we move this down here. Watch the difference that that makes. See how that base disappears underneath there? You can still see it if you look for it, but now instead of seeing the white underneath, now your eye goes to the lighter. Your eye always goes to the lighter thing, and in this case, it's the top. So while that's drying, what we're going to do next is to get a brush and just clean the edges of this bark a little bit so that we clean that up. Okay, I'm ready to start finishing, and underneath I have a Versus bin here that I can move this around, and uh, I'm using uh, this Krylon clear varnish. I, I love this stuff. It's got a really great nozzle on it, too, so we're just going to give this a, a spray, and then we'll take this off, and we'll put the top on, and we'll give it... Now this is the, the one that I was excited to, uh, to start coating. So to drill this access hole, I'm just going to drill a pilot hole right through the middle there. All the way through. Then I'm going to use the Forstner bit and make a little bit bigger hole so that we can put the screws through. drill from the other side there 
you don't get tear out. There's our top. It's got a little bit of a luster to it, which is just exactly what we were looking for. So now all we need to do is to fasten the base. And when we turn that over and center that like that, I can look down and I can see where that first screw needs to go through. So there's our finished little turntable or Lazy Susan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's, it's a great little thing that you can use on a picnic table, on your dining room table, all sorts of uses for it. You can put plants on it, perfect thing to rotate plants from time to time. You can put pizza platters on it, condiments for hamburger night, all sorts of great uses for a little project like this. And this one is not absolutely perfectly flat. And that's because I didn't cut it perfectly flat with the chainsaw. And I don't mind that because these kind of, especially something with a natural edge like this, we kind of expect it to be a little bit rustic and maybe a little bit rough. So if yours is off a little bit, don't worry about it. If you want yours absolutely perfectly flat, you can keep working with your sander or grinder, whatever you've got, to make it perfectly flat. There's no right or wrong. It's woodworking. We do what we how the, we do these things the way we want them. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we ask you to do that. We ask you to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web, and be sure to stay tuned for lots more builds.